this is Friday with Ree, welcome back. And this is my living room. I think you've probably all seen enough of my study to last you at least a few weeks. So I thought I'd switch up and give you something different. Just a quick update for you today. Last week I filmed um, a really fantastic chat with the Half Hot Equestrian team and the founder of Half Hot Equestrian. We talked about everything from being a brand ambassador and what that means and tips if you wanna become a brand ambassador to our own journeys with our horses, goals for this year, and mental health, which has been coming up quite frequently on my channel, which I'm actually really pleased about. The response to um, some of the things I've been putting on my Instagram lately about anxiety have been received really well. So I'm kind of trying to consciously think of ways to bring that to the front of the channel because I have heard a few people say that they don't think it's talked about enough in the equestrian world. So I'd love to kind of um, keep bringing that to the front of conversation. I saw my osteopath just this past week as well for an old riding injury that's been flaring up, um, which of course is still allowed under lockdown. So I'm hoping to film one of those sessions in the future that I'm able to bring to the channel and show you what it's like to to be treated as an equestrian. I think a lot of us don't take our sports seriously enough and we should, we're athletes just like everyone else. And then today I just wanted to give you a little update on the horse search, which to be honest has kind of come to a standstill. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but for me, I've seen such a big shift this week in particular in the equestrian world in response to the lockdown. I've been umming and ahhing for a while anyway, and I've definitely moved to online in terms of how I'm looking at horses for sale. I'm not really viewing any, in fact, I'm not viewing any at all. And I'm kind of, I've made my peace with the fact that I'll probably be waiting now until March um, when we get the latest news on the lockdown about actually viewing horses. And I've been pleased to see that when I've been chatting back and forth with owners, particularly private owners, um, have been saying that actually they're not in a rush anyway and they are willing to wait until the end of March as well. And when I've been speaking to um, sales yards, it's just been a really nice way to figure out where they are, who they are, what kind of horses they have in and the way that they train. Because even if I can't go and see horses now, it gives me a really good sense of who they are and it gives me a list of contacts to go back and engage with when we are out of lockdown or can do viewings. Um, and obviously, initially, I was I found it, I'll be honest, I found it incredibly difficult, the idea that if I stopped viewing horses, I would miss out on horses that were still being bought and sold because everybody else is still viewing horses. But that doesn't make it right. <laughs> um, and I still am a big believer in fate and everything happens for a reason. I believe that my perfect horse is out there and I do believe that if he or she, I mean, I've said no to mares, but don't want to jinx it, have been bought or sold in the last month, then they're not my horse. I've been doing lots of research online still, trying to do as much as possible in terms of getting videos, trot up videos, videos in the stable, videos of them doing all sorts of activities so that I can then uh, make an informed judgment or at least have a pin in them for March. There are a couple that I really like, but again, I don't want to jinx anything. So I guess we'll see, but that's how the whole search is going. It's a really crazy time. And I'm sure that we'll look back in like a year and be like, wow, this was just wild. And you know, a lot of people I know who are slightly older or work on the front line are now getting vaccines. So that's really positive. And I think hopefully we're moving in the right direction. Um, and I can only feel really grateful that everybody that I know is healthy and happy. Um, I know some people recently who, you know, have lost their horses um, and have been through some or lost, you know, family members and have been through some really difficult times. So it does put things in perspective. And, you know, I've also been thinking about this channel. I have so many ideas and so many things that I want to film, but there's only so much I can do from my house. Um, so I've sort of tried to take the pressure off myself as well and just say, you know, if I need to have a little holiday and, you know, come back to you guys when I have updates on the horse, then I feel comfortable doing that. And I think this is, if, if you're gonna protect your mental health, like this is the perfect time to do it in lockdown. So I was thinking I might perhaps do a video on adverts because I spend my whole day scrolling Horse Quest and what have you. And there is specific language that pops up quite often in these videos. So I think I might do a video on like what this language means because some of it is really strange. Um, and if you didn't know, then you wouldn't know. And even some of them I look and I'm like, I think I know what that means, but I'm not 100% sure. So that could be a fun video as well. So sorry that this isn't longer, um, but I hope that you enjoy this little update and I will hopefully see you next week. And of course, on my Instagram, I'm sharing a lot of throwbacks at the moment of horses that have been in my life in the past. So you can get a little sense of um, my horsey life there. But yes, thank you so much for watching and bearing with me while we do this horse search. Still very exciting. And I'm 
trying to share with you the complete truth. So I hope that you find it useful and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.